the grip and control, post, and onto the back. One more time. Hi, I'm Tom Blackledge. Um, this is undefeated fighter Jordan Barton. Um, today we're going to be looking at uh, some butterfly guard stuff. If you haven't seen the previous videos, go and have, check them out. Uh, but today we're going to be looking at the arm drag from the butterfly. So, the arm drag we can work from either in close, like this, or we can work it like this. So you've got the two options what you can try yourselves. I'll show you both sides, both ways. So if I'm like this way, and I'm trying to do an arm drag, but he's sort of sitting himself back. He isn't engaging fully. So it's difficult for me to go for my butterfly sweep. And he's sort of keeping himself out of uh, sort of wrestling range, grappling range, just sitting like this. Okay? So I can go like this, and I'm going to control on that wrist. And as I reach back to this wrist, my underhook arm is going to switch sides like this. And as I switch, I'm going to pull across. So as we go from this bit, I slide to that wrist. I'm going to push it in. Oops, sorry, Josh. And I'm going to grip on his back. And as I get to this position, I'm keeping myself in tight. I post on my hand, take my leg out, and go to his back. Okay? Now, all the back attack stuff will be on a, a separate video to this one. So keep your eye out for it, and you'll get to see all the attacks and things from the back. So, either we're going from this way, or we're going from this way. Now, from this way, it's a lot smoother and a lot easier to grip or to roll, whichever you want to, and then grip to that tricep and pull. Okay, so as we're wrestling like this, I pull and I grip on his hip. And my chest is right next to his arm and on his tricep and on his back. Because I don't want him to be like this and then be able to pull the arm back out and drive me flat. So I need to keep my weight on. So as I'm wrestling like this with him, I go to the arm drag, I control, and I'm pushing my chest into him. So if we should try and pull his arm back, he can't. I've got myself, I've got my whole chest blocking him up. Now I'm going to post my hand on the mat, take my leg out and get to his back. So as we wrestle from this position, I'm controlling the wrist, I reach to his tricep, and I'm gonna pull, and I'm gonna go to his back, his hip with my left arm, like this, and I keep my chest on. If I'm to pull away like this, that's when he's gonna pull that arm free, get that on the hook and drive me flat. So I'm keeping like this, and then my hand is gonna go to the mat. As I push myself up, I keep my right hook in, if it's already here, and I sit and over. So one more time. As we go from this position or from this position, either way is fine. We grip and control, post, and onto the back. Okay? So this time, we'll start to look at a submission from this position into the dash job. So as I'm like this, if Joe's wrestling with me and I'm managing to get the arm drag like this, now when I control with this, this arm, it's leaving me a space here. If I don't want to try and get up and get to his back, I'm going to turn and feed my arm all the way through okay now this is important this turn and the reach so that then i can control his head to get this dash choke and then i'm pinching my elbows in to get that choke okay so as we go again as we're wrestling i feed through and i turn and now i can let this go my elbow will come on top and control his head like this pinch them together one more time So we go again, arm drag, return, grip, and squeeze together. Okay, and one more time. Roll it, arm drag, and then through this gap. Turn all your body through, like this. Arm comes over the top, lock it in, pinch them elbows together, and get that chop. Now, when we're going like this, we can still get into the butterfly sweep. So as well as the submissions and getting to the back, we can still take the original sweep what we wanted to get from this position anyway. So when I go like this and I take the arm drag and I feel like this, if his weight is pulling away a little bit and I feel like I can't quite get to his back, I can just put my hips under his to sweep. And now glide with him. If you watch my chest, my pressure is going to push him to keep to his back. And I'm going to get myself into this gift wrap position 
control. And then again, if you want to go into all the back attack stuff, you can. So as we go like this, we go to this bit, pull your hips under, stay ahead with your chest. I'm gonna drive him into the mat. A gift wrap, oops, I just slide myself into his head, pull him across, and into his back. So from the other side. And the last one. So from that same position, as I get the arm dragged like this, and I go like this, as I go to sweep him with that butterfly sweep, if he's solid and he can sprawl, uh, straighten his legs out pretty well, as I'm going to that sweep, I'm gonna use it to engage and get to the back. So as I sit like this, and I go to sweep him this way, instead of me forcing him, and him, if he hits a mat and starts to hip escape and scramble back on top, I'm gonna use it to my advantage and take his back instead. So as I go like this, as I can feel it being heavy, instead of me trying to force him, I'm gonna move my hip out, okay? And I can either lock on the one leg, on the two, body triangle and back attack stuff. One, one time from the other side. And that's been a few little techniques from uh, the butterfly guard with the arm drag, using the arm drag to set, set up a few uh, submissions and attacks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, be sure to check out the other techniques in the butterfly series we've done. Um, any information on any of us, just go to uh, blackledgemma.com uh, or find us on Instagram at blackledgemma.com.